Did I just get the god roll of the best new hand cannon in Destiny 2? Well, pretty close. This weekend, Bungie introduced the first ever hand cannon into the Trials of Osiris loot pool for Destiny 2, the Igneous Hammer. And wow, it's a beast. When I first equipped this bad boy, I instantly knew it was a contender for the best hand cannon in the game. This weekend, the only way to get this hand cannon is to go to the lighthouse with a flawless Trials of Osiris card, which is going to grant you a guaranteed drop of the adept version of the Igneous Hammer. But in future weeks, the regular version should be available as a reward for either the 3rd, 5th, or 7th win on a Trials card, and maybe even the weekly Trials bounty, which will make it quite a bit easier to obtain for the more casual players out there. Let's take a look at the stats and potential perks to see why this hand cannon is just so incredible. The Igneous Hammer comes with some incredible base stats. According to d2gunsmith.com, we have 68 range, 42 stability, 43 handling, 37 reload speed, 69 aim assist, and a recoil direction of 95. Keep in mind, these stats don't even account for adding perks and options like barrels, which will buff up the stats even more. Here's a comparison of the base stats next to the other non-sunset 120 RPM legendary hand cannons that are in the game currently. You can see that Igneous Hammer absolutely wipes the floor here when it comes to the base stats. It wins out in basically every important category. But what about the perk pool? Well, Igneous is absolutely stacked here as well, with some amazing options. In the first column, we have barrel mods instead of sights, which I actually prefer because that means that we can get options like Hammer Forge for plus 10 range or Small Bore for plus 6 stability and plus 7 range with no downsides. For the second column, we have a lot of options here as well. I think the only S tier perk is Ricochet Rounds, which adds both plus 5 range and plus 8 stability, but High Caliber, Armor Piercing, and Light Mag are each great for the additional range, and Flared Magwell is nice for that huge increase to reload speed as well as the bonus to stability. I think you can make an argument for a pendant mag here as well for the increased magazine size without the reload penalty, which can be especially good on 120s especially since Igneous only starts with 8 bullets in the magazine. For the final two columns, we have some really nice options to pick from as well. In column 3, almost every option is great. Quick draw is an S tier perk in my opinion since it allows you to swap to or from your special weapon of choice much faster. Killing Wind is a good perk as well, but personally I think it's a bit overrated. It's still not a bad option though if you happen to get it. Outlaw is really nice for improving that reload speed, especially since it can be pretty slow on 120 RPM hand cannons. And Rapid Hit is another top pick because it improves both the reload speed and stability, which can also be a bit rough on the 120 hand cannons. Subsistence here is probably the worst perk in this column, but it can still be useful if you start stringing together some kills and you want to keep that magazine going, especially if you pair it with a damage perk in the final column. For column 4, we have some great options here as well. Celerity is not my favorite perk since it's only useful in modes like Trials of Osiris where you're the last alive member of your fire team, and I'd probably pass on that one. Rampage though is absolutely S tier for 120 RPM hand cannons because just one stack allows you to get a kill with just 2 headshots up to 9 resilience, and that doesn't even require a reload to get the extra damage going. On the service level, one for all doesn't seem that good. But if you're able to hit multiple enemies quickly, the damage buff actually is pretty huge. It's similar to quick draw but doesn't require a kill. I think this one's more of a 6v6 perk. Watch this clip of my buddy Shadow using it in-game. Snapshot is nice to improve the feel of the gun, but I think there are better options in this column, especially since you can get quick draw in column 3, which already boosts your ADS speed. And Moving Target is another great perk for consistency. I think for 3v3 play, it's really strong, but for 6v6, I'd probably rather have a damage perk for that intrinsic 2-tap potential. So out of my two flawless cards last night, here's the best roll that I was able to get. Definitely a bit of streamer loot involved here. I walked away with Hammer Forge, High Caliber Rounds, Quick Draw, Rampage, and a Stability Masterwork. So is this the new best hand cannon in Destiny 2? I think it might be. The main possible complaint that I could see against it is that it's missing the opportunity to get rangefinder, but with the range stat potential being so high, I don't really think that's a huge deal, especially since 120s already have so much range out of the gate. My roll with an 89 range stat seems to hit just fine from distance, so I don't really feel like I'm missing rangefinder too much. I'm personally a big fan of the weapon model and the sights too. These little details can really impact how much I like or dislike a weapon. The ability to cleanly see the target that I'm shooting at is a huge deal to me, and luckily, the sights and the model on Igneous are both beautiful and easy to use. 
I should also mention that since this gun has the ability to drop as an adept weapon, we get some additional stats for fully masterworking it, as well as the ability to use an adept Icarus mod instead of a regular Icarus mod, which gives us some additional range. I think one of the hand cannons that still does give a god roll Igneous a run for its money in the stats department is a masterworked Sturm. Here's my roll of Igneous compared to Sturm. You can see that they are pretty neck and neck, and the handling stat is actually a bit deceiving since my roll has quick draw and that's actually better than the 73 handling that Sturm has. Plus, Sturm doesn't have a damage perk unless you pair it with Drang, and it can't slot Icarus Grip which is a no-go for many top players. However, if you have a more grounded playstyle, I still think that Sturm is another top pick, especially with the magazine size of 12. Overall, I'm pretty blown away by this new hand cannon and I feel lucky that I was able to get a really nice roll so quickly. I think this will be my main hand cannon throughout the rest of the season, especially since it pairs so well with the Chaperone, which is easily one of my favorite special weapons, and I was also able to get an adept Astral Horizon shotgun with quick draw and opening shot last season, so I have another pretty good shotgun option to pair with it as well. Not to mention, my quote unquote god roll of the Eye of Soul Sniper that Bungie just loves to give me every week in Trials with hipfire grip and box breathing. Think of the amazing synergy here. Just kidding, please don't use this roll. I'll leave you with some gameplay featuring this new hand cannon in action while I tell you about a few upcoming projects that you might be interested in. I'm working on an updated version of my hand cannon tier list video, and now that we have access to Igneous, I think I'm going to put that one out pretty soon, so be looking for that video. I'm also working on a more theoretical video that covers every aspect of hand cannons, looking at things like the aim assist and accuracy cones, stability, range drop off models, etc. If you're interested in that one, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get it done soon. I also have a few new interview style videos in the works that you definitely don't want to miss, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos coming soon. Last but not least, if you happen to get a great roll of this hand cannon, let me know on Twitter. My tag is pattycakesgg. That's all for now, catch you guys next time.
Guardian down. 